I am the first ever 97 overall in NBA 2K25. Now I know what you're thinking. Yes, I do stink. The only thing needed more than a shower right now is female interaction. But there's actually a really quick method that I'm gonna show y'all that can allow you to hit 99 overall in just one day. Yeah, you heard that right. And believe it or not, it's not my career. Now I'm not trying to waste y'all's time, so drop a like on the video because the second this video hits 1,000 likes, I will drop the best dribble moves video I promised y'all yesterday immediately. So make Make sure to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss out on that. And even if you think you're sub, do me a favor and double check because trust me, you do not want to miss out on that video. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, y'all, here we go. First off, the fastest way to get 99 overall is not like any other year. Usually, if you're a My Career enjoyer, you can get away with playing My Career and getting 99 overall that way and getting 99 overall as you progress through your career. But this year, 2K made a major change. The method used to be going Hall of Fame. 12 minute quarters and get as many assists as you can but the problem with that now is that this year 2k maxed out the amount of attributes that count towards your overall basically once you get 15 assists in a game every other assist after that does not count it's like you never threw them in the first place trust me i wasted a whole 12 minute quarter game to find this out so yeah my career is not it this year do not waste your time instead we're out to the street ball courts more specifically the temple now i do want to say you can choose any street ball court you want, but I prefer the temple and I'll show you why. When you get into the temple, you're going to walk up to this bulletin board looking thing and it's going to give you a list of eight opponents. Obviously, some of mine are blacked out because I've already beat them, but they'll be lit up for y'all if it's your first time being in here. And the first thing you want to do when you get in here is play against the boss Velvet so you can get him on your team the next game. Trust me, that is a vital step to making this strategy a hundred times easier and faster. And by the time you've mastered this strat you'll be getting 10 to 15,000 xp every five minutes so if you do the math on that you'll be earning nearly a hundred thousand xp per hour and to put that into perspective the lower overalls from 85 to 94 you can literally rank up one to two overalls every single hour okay grinding that sounds nice but how do i do it well once you've played against velvet and beat him you'll be able to recruit him to your team and the reason we want him on the team is because his strength is catching alley-oop done so you're gonna put him on your team so you can get the most alley-oop assist possible without having to stress too much and then for your opponent you're gonna look through the bosses and then find the lowest three-point rating boss who also happens to be the shortest so for example this little guy right here i'm not gonna lie i'm sorry if you happen to be short in real life i'm kind of gonna be throwing stories at you this entire video but listen it's nothing personal it's just the best method and then once you find that low three-point rating short guy you're gonna play against do not have him guarding anybody else have him guarding you or better put have you guarding him and then the final part of the setup once you have velvet on your team you can pick any third teammate you want i just went with this guy right here now let's talk about the gameplay strategy so first off you are not playing any defense in this gameplay i mean it none whatsoever you're gonna sit your happy self in the paint and you're gonna wait for the rebound the reason for this is because we picked a low three point rating boss but the cpu in the game does not realize that he is a low three point rating boss so he's gonna be chucking that from narnia and he's gonna brick it every time and then off of those bricks you're gonna get the rebound which of course is extra my points and then you're gonna set up your offense on offense you're gonna call for a screen with your alley -oop boss and then you're gonna throw him a lot if you don't know how to call for a screen on this game it's lb on xbox or l1 on playstation and you can either hold it to get the closest person to set you a screen or you can manually call for a screen from the alley -oop boss by tapping lb or l1 and then holding the button that has been assigned to him so in this case it was x so you would tap lb or l1 and then you would hold x or square if you're on playstation once he throws you a lob he's obviously gonna roll to the basket then you're gonna double tap y or triangle to throw a lob and you're gonna get an alley-oop assist and you are going to do this over and over again you're gonna throw the lob get the alley-oop assist go on defense sit your happy self in the paint hope that he shoots it and you get the rebound or even better yet sometimes he goes in the paint and chucks up a stupid shot so you get a shot contest so when that happens get a shot contest and then also get the rebound for even more my point and if you do this right you will be getting a minimum of 10,000 score and a maximum of around 15 to 17k and that will be every five to six minutes one because these street ball games are inherently short and two if you beat them bad enough there's a shutdown feature where they kind of just glaze you really hard if you're just beating on them and they all just rush the court and end the game and you would think that would be a bad thing but you honestly prefer this because even though it does cut the game in half it gets you out of the game quicker and you're already gonna have earned your 10k to 15k my point so if you're doing this method correctly 
you can literally go from 85 overall to 99 overall in 24 hours. If you don't believe me, just look at the screen. The game finishes, we get 10 to 15k, and it takes about five minutes. If you do the math on that, that is 60 to 90,000. That is 60 to 90,000 my points every hour. And the five to six minute game time is not including if you get shutdowns every single game, which you should be going for. If you don't get the shutdown, it's not the end of the world. It's just to save you time. But yeah, this method really does work. If you watched my last video, you noticed that I was a 92 overall last night. I'm a 97 overall now, and I only played a little bit during the night. I didn't even play all day. I went from 85 overall to 92 overall straight from playing part. 46 games going 45 and 1 to be exact. And then I went from 93 overall to 97 overall using this method. 93 to 94 took me an hour. 94 to 95 took me an hour and 30 minutes. 95 to 96 took me two hours. And 96 to 97 took me three hours because it progressively gets harder over time. And I'm predicting that 97 to 98 is going to take me about four and a half hours. And then 98 to 99 is probably going to take me around five to five and a half hours. So if you add that all up, that is way less than 24 hours. It's actually around like 16 to 18 hours, which means you can go from 85 overall to 99 overall in less than a day. And one thing I forgot to mention is that this is actually the best method to unlock your takeovers as well as get your badges up at the same time. If y'all don't know how takeovers work this year, you only have a level three takeover when you get on the game and you have to unlock level five takeover, AKA your takeover ability. And the way to do that is by getting your level three takeover 10 times to get level four takeover and then getting your level four takeover 15 times to finally unlock level five takeover, which is your takeover ability. If you do this in the park, that is gonna take you 25 games of you going off, which means it's gonna take you all day. But if you put on the takeover that you want when you're playing this game mode, you're always gonna get your level three and level four takeover. So you're gonna unlock your takeover much faster. That's exactly what I did to unlock my takeover and I've been loving it. At the same time, it also gives you a ton of badges. I now have legend lightning launch on my build all because of this method. So yeah, make sure to take advantage because we don't know if they're gonna patch this or not. And again, y'all, I am a 2K sweat. I do this for a living. This is what I do. Without this, I would be putting y'all's fries in the bag and getting you a double chocolate milkshake. You do not have to sweat this hard if you're playing the game casually or for fun, but definitely use this method to boost your overall so you can get those attribute ratings that we all desperately need. Truth be told, our builds at 85 are not the greatest. We are missing a lot. I was missing my pass accuracy, my midi, my defense, and now at 97 overall, I am absolutely peak and dominating the park. If y'all want to see what my build is doing now with updated clips, make sure to go check out my jump shot video that I just posted. I released my jump shot. I'm shooting 60% from three, but if you do go watch that video, make sure to check the pinned comment because I put timestamps for y'all. A lot of people skipped through the video and tried to find the jump shots and they got confused because there was a 6-6 jump shot in there and it didn't work for their 6-3 and then there was a 6-3 jump shot and it didn't work for their 6-6. Just make sure to check the timestamps. I timestamped the 6-3 jump shot. I timestamped my settings reveal and I also timestamped when I give you the 6-8 jump shot and a jump shot for poppers as well. But anyways, y'all, I am on pace for being the first 99 overall in the world. So make sure you subscribe with notifications on so you can see what 99 overalls are like in this game. I will drop a video the second I hit it. And uh, yeah, y'all, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. And as always, keep grinding. Falling, falling. Two K, we never be falling. Yeah. Retro, she never be calling. Still hitting shots while they steady be taunting. Falling, falling. Two K, we never be falling. Retro, she never be calling. Still hitting shots while they steady be falling.